بعاني باش بريزان خوش حالم لا يكم روجي مشقي ريسيرت و توجينو من لا يكم روجي ترينينج من ببريزتان شاد دبين سباسي عما دبون تو سباسي بجداري كردن تان دكم لو ترينينجا خوش حال دبون با تو ماركردني تابينا كان تان با همو پرسیاره کنتان، با سرنجا کنتان، لف دولا، بو دولا مند کردینی او بابتا ایتیرو تسلانه که باسی دکین، لترینین جی او رو منده وی فوکس اون امپورتانت پاین ایداد این در کرنت ترند آف یونیورسیتی آن اکادیمیک لایف It is essential. It became an essential part of academic life, which it is academic writing. Before explaining the detail, I want to introduce myself. I am Dr. Juan Delshad from Mechanical and Energy Engineering Department, Engineering College, Arbil Polytechnic University. The main topic about the pay training is about implementation of some practical tips that previous researchers could imply to improve their academic writing, either for manuscript publication, thesis writing, writing of proposal, and so on. However, uh, my main focus will be on the improving of academic writing for manuscript publication, because it's the, it is the most obvious uh, part of academic life, and it is more frequently used by researchers in any university. For example, thesis writing, it's only can be written either upon completion of master or PhD. Proposal writing depend on when you apply for a grant or when you apply a proposal for postdoctorate and so on. However, the manuscript writing is an active semi-daily issue that you can write a manuscript anytime. That is why, despite of the generalization of this uh, training, we mainly focus on the uh, improving academic writing for paper publication. First of all, uh, motivation is very important. All of us are busy. All of us uh, have lim limited time. However, we should have enough motivation to start now, not late, not tomorrow, not later. Because uh, starting early is a first step toward improvement. The second most important issue to improve the academic writing is about selection of an appropriate topic. That is very important because when you select a topic that you are interested in, you have enough information about it. You have motivation to study research, collect data, doing experimental and research. This is after motivation to start is the second most important uh, issue for being a successful researcher. And you should make sure that resort, uh, resources are available for this particular research. For example, you have access to journal, you have uh, instruments, devices, and team working is very important collaboration with international staff. 
all these kind of resources are helpful to be a successful researcher and improve your writing skill. I can explain that later. How you collect resource material, this is very important. Before you start a skillful academic writing, you have to follow many steps because to be a successful academic writer is not an easy task. It's not a trivial task. It needs too much work, effort, time consumption, following the up-to-date resources and being tired. It is not an easy task. I can briefly mention two few points. One of them is uh, looking for all reference, book, journal, articles, publications, chapter books, conference, any kind of uh, resource material. Secondly, library is very important. Having a digital library nowadays make this task very easy. Even though library is available in another country, if you have access digitally to that particular library, you can borrow books from them and so on or journal article or any necessary material for your research. Another point for collecting resource material is about attending conference. Attending conference is very important. We know later why. To make it short, uh, meeting experts, professors and listening to people while, while they are talking during conference, their interpersonal skill, communication skill, how to present their data, all of these are very important. Another thing is personal communication with experts through ResearchGate, Academia, even LinkedIn, many other websites are very useful in this manner. However, you have to remember you record these resources in a semi-daily basis to ensure you will not forget anything and you keep information day by day. How to improve your writing? First of all, you have to read a lot. You have to read whatever related to the topic you are interested in even it is not uh, directly related to your research. Because in that case, you will get many good vocabulary, sentence structure. You, you will be familiar how people present their data, the structure of writing. Even the particular paper manuscript is not related to your particular field. You still can get advantage from them based on the writing style, sentence structure, vocabulary resources, how to present data, abstract writing, graphical abstract, result and discussion presentation, how to write the conclusion, how to write in uh, consciously and in the meantime, very clearly, all of these are very important. And also you can write it like a thesis statement. Why this is important? Because in that case, you will have a feeling that you are like a master or PhD student and you have a deadline to submit your thesis. If you treat your paper in that way, you will set a timeline and you will have deadline, for example, deadline for finishing introduction, deadline for completion of experimental work. Make your work faster and more clearly. 
And also you create several file, file for main text and reference. Some references are very important directly to related to your work. You have to focus on these references. Now we go step by step to the main topic for our training today. Academic writing is very important. And in a today academic uh, area, publication is outcome or, or overestimate of teaching. In some universities, they turn it to totally research-based university. They completely focus on research other than teaching. However, in most of universities worldwide, research is parallel to the teaching. That is why it's very important for any researcher in a, an academic staff in any university to improve his or her research skill, including writing skill, which we focus on that one. It's very important because even technician in a library, in laboratory can have several testing results. Even student, final year student, for example, in their project, when they perform a experimental work for their project, they can have results they can uh, arrange data. However, it is more important how you present this finding, how you make this finding clear to other researchers, how you make this data available. Other researchers follow you and make your work as their basis. This is very important. One of the more important concept is you should present your finding in a very clear format, easy to read, to understand, and the uh, keywords are very clear, uh, free from grammatical error, and don't use jargon or any kind of word uh, only to impress people, readers. You use simple word. Meantime, with using simple word vocabulary, you can still impress researchers to read or cite your article without being lost of the importance of your paper. One of the main points we should uh, consider in academic writing, you should know that this kind of research will be available online worldwide. Every researchers around the world can have a look at it, can get advantage from it. That is why simplicity, clarity, and meantime, the strong writing structure is quite important and essential for being a successful researcher. Why we should uh, have a good writing? Why? First of all, we should uh, make sure that we very clearly and correctly present our research finding. Secondly, to improve the objective thinking and critical understanding. Thirdly, make it easier for researchers to, lie, to write research papers for publication. For example, your student follow you when they look at your style, when they understand your writing style, they can follow you. For example, your final year project student, your master student, your PhD student. Another reason is uh, helpful for logical, critical logical thinking and 
easy to understand. And also brainstorming is very important. Help researchers to be innovative when they read your clear research. And meantime, time management organization skill are very important because when you read a manuscript with few pages, for example, only five pages, including figure and table, compare it to another manuscript, have the same idea with 10 papers. It saves time, it saves uh, continuity, it helps researchers to follow you to understand the topic. This is very important. So the start point is about you should have motivation to be a good researcher. You should believe in yourself, self-confidence, and also look at the previous research, talk with expert, all of these are helpful. So let's start for the main point, how to manage for being a good academic writer. Manage writing tasks efficiently. How we can do that? Because being a good researcher is not a trivial task and it's not it's one day job, but need long time experience, reading semi-daily, following seminar, webinars, workshops, trainings, asking expert, for example, your supervisor, ex-supervisor, or using internet platform like ResearchGate, for example, reading in a semi-daily manner, all of these are helpful to improve our writing because each researcher have different style of writing, sentence construction, using of vocabulary. By time, we can communicate, communicate and uh, communicate a lot of data. If you write notes daily, if you write paragraphs daily, by time, gradually, your writing skill will be improved. And one ways to improve your academic writing, for example, you can start from uh, easy academic writing. For example, writing from essays, writing your CV, writing your report, despite of the fact that this kind of uh, academic writing have differences with manuscript. However, starting writing with the easier topic or easier uh, part of writing will be helpful step by step toward the manuscript writing because usually these kind of writing are short pieces, for example, CV or proposal for postdoctorate or for grant, only few pages. However, you, during the writing of this uh, kind of document, you will collect many vocabulary, style of writing, arranging them logically, point by point. All of this will be helpful to start a manuscript writing successfully, despite of their differences. One of the most important point that will be helpful for any researcher to be a good academic writer is dividing your writing to different parts and understand nuance means that different perspective or each sentence. Then you collect all of these to all together. This is very important for any researcher. I can confirm that this is not easy at the beginning. However, by time, when you follow this way, 
you can write more successfully because you divide your research to simple part. When you accomplish your task in any part of your writing, it will be a motivation for you to continue and to write the next part more successfully. Then make connection between this part. For example, in introduction, you divide your introduction first for three paragraphs only. The first paragraph is general idea about previous people work very briefly. However, what is the problem? In the second paragraph, for example, you write about a scientific judgment and uh, will be what you believe to be successful to overcome this problem statement. In the third paragraph, you write about your own idea, how to solve this problem. What is your proposal to overcome this challenge? This is very simple example, but when you divide your writing in any section to small pieces, then you connect them with a connection sentence. By time, it will be easier because when you just start writing for a big paragraph or section altogether, it will be very difficult for the beginner, for the researcher that it is beginner. However, when you divide your task for very simple part, it will be very helpful for you to be a successful researcher and write very easily without fear. You may make mistake, you may have several mistakes. However, in other tips, I will explain how you can overcome this challenge. Another important point set deadline. For example, today I want to finish this paragraph. Whatever you are busy, you have task, you have obstacle, try to finish that part within today, for example. Even is not correct completely, but try to follow deadline and reward yourself when you succeed to complete within deadline. Another important thing is about practical tip about academic writing to be successful is about set time for reading. For example, when you read a paper, a manuscript related to your work, no need to read the whole manuscript completely. You just come and scan first, either this is related to your work or no, or focus on the abstract. If the abstract clear and related to your work, then you scan and scan strategy. If you still feel that this is more related to your topic that you want to have research, then you read more about that. You don't have to you waste time reading all paper, all references. Maybe some reference has only few sentences related to your work. That is why set time for reading, set priority, which kind of reference you should focus on, which kind of reference you just have basic information about it. This is very important. But how we can deal with that with academic writing? When you read papers more related to your research, you'll have more information about vocabulary related to your topic, about uh, style of writing of researchers, of professors, of uh, authors that they are related to your topic. You can have your own writing style by time. This is very important. Try to focus on the topic related to your work because for example, someone write paper for civil engineering is quite diff different with that, writing that paper for mechanical engineering. Even sometimes these kind of topic are interchangeable 
they have relation between them. However, there are still differences. That is why I said time for reading. Which kind of paper is your priority? One more important thing, you start writing, reading from famous researchers in your field. Why this is important? Because when a professor published more than 500 papers and his writing style is very clear, his English style is too strong, all of this it can be a source for you, for any researcher to follow and start with a good basis. For example, if we start reading with a new researcher with conference paper, maybe it's not a good choice because the style of writing is not strong. The vocabulary maybe is very simple. As I mentioned it earlier, simplicity. It's okay, however, it should be clear and uh, easy to understand. Another thing is very important in this topic. It's very important when we read any paper, we, we can find email of corresponding author. Nowadays, internet is a very, helpful source in our life as researcher. We can connect with this researcher. I have my own experience sometimes through the email. The style of writing of email was very helpful for me when the researcher explained the topic for me, when the professor responded to my inquiry even from the style writing of his or her email, it was very helpful for me to get more knowledge and to follow a kind of writing. That is very important. When you read paper, you connect with this corresponding author, especially if they are a famous professor in the field. Another tip is very important to have an outline framework for your academic writing. As we know, academic writing is not very simple. It's not like just writing novel or story. You should have a follow and a very good structure and make readers interested to read the rest. For example, abstract is the first section in any paper. If you write the, your abstract clearly, concisely, and uh, in a simple way, understandable, the researcher will be encouraged to follow and read the rest of your paper. That is why we should have a framework. And each kind of journal have different kind of format. We should follow. We will explain that point later. One of the more important uh, issue you have to consider is, do you want to write review article or original research article, literature review, case report, editorial explanation, opinion article, short communication, which kind of paper manuscript you want to write? Because Review paper is completely different with research article. For example, in review article, you focus on the previous work, previous researchers work. You arrange them in a scientific manner. You discuss their strength and limitation. Based on the scientific judgment and your own experience, you present them in table, in figure, in chart. How was the trend of this particular topic? And what are the strengths and limitations for the previous work? 
And what is your proposal for future research work for future researchers to follow? This is a review article. However, original research article is completely different. It's your own work based on experimental data for engineering, for example, or for humanity based on the, some theoretical basis serving and uh, for example, asking inquiry for student or staff and so on. Depend on the field or for medical field, depend on the a case report of patient and uh, drug distribution among patients. So depending on the type of writing, you should have very strong understanding which kind of article you want to write and which kind of field topic you are interested. Then you have to select appropriate journal. All of these journals have different outline. You have to follow this outline strictly. Why this is important? Because following a particular outline for any journal will help you to organize your idea, to rearrange rewriting, to be more concise. For example, some journal have word limitation especially these journal are letters, you have to write within, for example, 3000 words, including abstract. In that case, you have to present your idea more concisely and briefly. Meantime, very clearly. That is in case if we have word limitation. That is why following outline is very, very important. You should have an outline. You cannot just start from like free thinkers, free, write, free writers, like novel or story. For academia, you should have a basic understanding of an outline, which kind of field, which kind of article you want to write, review article, research manuscript, short communication, opinion article. This is very important because even for the same journal, for the same particular journal, writing review paper is completely different with writing research article. And both of them completely different with short communication. Another to, uh, tip to improve the academic- Excuse writing. me, doctor. Pardon me. Sorry for stopping you, but I prefer you stop from time to time to ask and ask if there are any questions to you. I think even you finished half of an hour and your speech is very clear understood, but still there is some question maybe uh, guys have and can't keep it to at the end. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, Mamusta Bea, thank you very much. Uh, at the beginning, my idea was to let the question at the end of the uh, training. However, I respect your idea. That is why I will uh, uh, put forward slide. And if any colleague has any question in any tip, in any slide, I am very happy to listen to you. I am very happy to uh, have your inquiries and respond to you before passing to to the reminder of the training. Any question are very welcome, please. One more thing, if my English is not clear, I am happy to present it in both Kurdish and Arabic in multiple language. I have no problem. معنا اگر هر کس چه شل انگلیسی که هیا زور با خوش حالی و ولی مکان با کردی آن با عربی پیشکش بکم زور خون با خوش حال دزانم فرمون هر کس اگر پرساری هیا باب فرمو
Any questions? Dr. Pedetzi Nabi. بس 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 One more important tip is about writing a correct vocabulary and a correct grammatical. This is also very important because when you read a piece of writing, paper, free from grammatical error, the words are simple, use it, lucid language means understandable language, and free from jargons. Jargon means this kind of word is just for impression. This kind jargons means this kind of word. It is not usually used in daily life. However, some researchers believe that using this kind of word will impress their paper, will impress readers to read, Nonetheless, through research, it was investigated that this is totally false. Using jargons is a main obstacle for your paper citation, for other researchers to follow your work, for uh, spreading your research globally, this is not my word, but this is uh, proved by previous research. Manaywaya, the be vocabulary simple bakarbini, balam zor clear wata, mana kidiarbi, wa ushewa kaba bakarnini, ushe kaba, ushe kaba tsia, kasanek lakati research, handa gushehe lezman inglis zor kam bakarbi. Balam boi bonum na biane bisal men ke inglis zakan zor basha yani she bashewek la shewakan kamukuriak la research su paper kan he dane bishar noa au no au sha jargoni peder in inglis bakari binen balam bakar henani au sha na la rui research so salma at wejinoa de beto hoi kam krinoi citation wa khalak kam tirbi khantawa Sunka researcher, the Zamani Saladu, a Sankari, simply Tidagare, David Zaniari Badasbini, Nagbre Munafa say Adabu Sheru Pasham Kade, Zaniari Badasbini, but I batila Buara Zaniskakan. Haru was up to Hikam Kirnoi citation, while a Kati research, Lakati search Kirdin La Gogol, Yahud La Sines Direct, Yana Springer, Yana Publisher Kanika. Bakarinani of Shana, but I bet he key word the better hoi can peer away to be been there. For this reason, you should avoid jargons because when any researcher search for this particular topic, they cannot find your keyword because of your jargons. Because these jargons are usually rare, only few researchers use this kind of word. Hence, your research is invisible, and few people cite your work, and we, which it is dramatically affect your research performance. Because one of the criteria that uh, measure how your research is strong is research citation. How many people cite your work? And uh, for example, in Google Scholar, in Pablon researcher ID, in Scopus, what is your index? How many papers do you have? How many people cite your work? All of that is very important. Using a good vocabulary and simple will help you to increase your visibility and indirectly your citation. Any question? 
هر پرسارک تانه بفرمون اوکی one of the more important point writing a grammatically correct sentence uh, will play very important role for the uh, quality of your publication for example high quality high impact factor journal measure your research skill from many criteria one of them is how your paper correct from errors and one kind of this error is grammatical error if your paper has too many grammatical error or using inappropriate vocabulary your chance will be less to publish in a good journal this is also very important if your English is not good enough, you can use some artificial based tools like gra online, like Grammarly, Pro Writing Aid, and so on. This kind of resource online will help you to correct your sentence, your grammatical error. Even though I don't recommend to totally depend on that artificial intelligence based tools because uh, human thinking is usually is a uh, more is, is superior than artificial based tools however in emergency cases you can depend on that uh, kind of tools hokare k3 the b او پیپری دینو سین خواهیم بیله گرامتیکل ایرار لو بیله جورنال چی باش پبلیشی کن چی که جورنالی باش دوی به انگلیزی چی باشو به حلو کمو کرتی بی اگی نا چانسی پبلیکیشن زور زحمت دبی و زور کم دبی هر وها اما دا توانین اگر انگلیزی کم هم باش نبی اعتماد لسر چند صفتویرک بکین که با ارتفیشل انتلیجنس غلطه کن راز دکن و کو گرامرلی که زور بکاره یا پرو رایتنگ اید یا ترینکا ایل بلام پیویسته ایما اعتمادی کامل سراوانه نکی بلکو با حکاری خودی یا خود لپوینتکانی پاشتر که پیشتریش آماجم پیدا کسانی پسپور که پیشمه ایشان که دید سراوانه لکولیج لگرمانن یا خود لماحت یا خود انترناشنال کولابریشن و حتی لرگی ریسرچ گیت و اکادمیا که وان با ما راست کنوا بلا هم لحالت ایمرجنسی دکره اعتماد لسر او صفت ویرانه بکره و کو گرامرلی آوانی که با ارتفیشل انتلیجنس اوتوماتیکلی غلط راز دکنو بلا هم چیشه آوانه اوه هندک جار او غلطی لوت راز دکنوا مقبول نیه چون که لوانه لفل دکیتو آوانه برنامو صفت ویرم پروگرام کرینه لوانه لفل دکیتو که برنامه‌نا تناغن، پروگرام کرینا. لانه لبو فیل دکی تو اکو پیویست، پروگرام نکرین. Any question, please? Any question, any comment? هر پرسیارک، هر سرنزک بفرمون. Another tip to improve your writing is about the type of writing. For example, if you depend on the experimental work, you want to present your experimental data, or you have survey among students, among patient, and you present the data, or you have a theoretical background, you want to present this theoretical background in a cutting edge based on the cutting edge progress in your field. That is why all these kind of academic writing style have differences. You should be aware about that. You should uh, search for all these kind of academic writing style. 
For example, if you want to present your data, search in similar papers, manuscript, how they present data. If you want to have opinion about uh, progress in a theoretical base, you have to look for the similar paper because each kind of this presentation are completely different and they have guideline you have to follow. Tipa Chikalabo Bashkredini Academic Writing Aware Kashewazi Writing Akab Zanitia. I had to data te Ameli the Tewen Publish K Bashewe paper Yahut Benamachi Theory He Nazari Bala Mestala Songe Peshkotini Technology Stinue Gorankari Nue Bonumuna یان هند گران کاری خفیف لو تیوری یان هند کرخنه لو تیوری های تکه یان شتا چینوه اضافه دکی بسی دکی هر یک لو تزور نوستینانه فرق یان هی ده بی تماشه او تزور پیپرانه بکی کما بسی ترکیز لسه پیپر دکی دنا کتابی شه با تزور بزانی اوان تون یان عرض کردی یان بچی شوازک فولوی گایدلائن یوان بکی به همان شوی وان متابع بكي any question please I'm happy to hear any question any comment your idea proofreading is also an important issue as we know we are not native English speaker and most of journal request publication in English. That is very common. We need editing and proofreading. Even our English is good. Maybe the structure of writing is not strong. Because as I explained it earlier, being a good academic writer is not only about language, but also about presentation, how you present your data. For example, both researchers are good in English language, free from grammatical error. However, one of them present the finding in two pages, the other researcher present the same finding in only one page, 50% less than their colleague. In that case, proofreading, editing, and uh, using connection sentence, being concise, all are very important. In case, if you are not sure about your error, you can read them loudly because sometimes the error cannot catch by eye, but it can easily catch by air. And also you depend on which kind of format you depend. Some people, for example, like, like me, I cannot, focus without printing version. If I want to read any paper, it will be very difficult for me or final year project without printing them. Some people are okay with the digital soft copy. Whatever your style, you have to follow the preferred style. Which style is sweet you? Either digital or printed copy, means soft copy or hard copy or any of them. Whatever is easier for you to find errors, you just use them. Halati Chitir Labo Bashkirni Academic Writing, proofread Wata Chininawe Hala, Chininawe Hala, Zozor Gringa, Tsunka Debeto Hoikam Kirnawe Ushakan, Bashkirni Structure Writing, Harwaha Handik Halakea Debit Tabaka. آزاد دوتوانی لسر ورقی غلط کند یاری بده خم لو بابتم هند خالقی شه به شیوهی دیجیتالی دوتوانی هلا پی دی فکی هایلایتی غلط کام بکه کامل استایل لو تو گنجا و آویم بکه استایلی چی تر تو دوتوانی بود زور غلط بینیو اگه بتسو و تو غلط کان لدست درد دن بیخوانو زود زلکاتی خوانو که جد لدنج خود بیانی چی تر لود دخوان تو غلط کان هست بده کن. Any question please. هر پرسیاره 
أي سؤال تفضلوا أوكي Another point, we can highlight punctuation marks. This is also very important. Many times I have seen a piece of writing. A man without woman is nothing. Something like that, if I'm not mistaken. However, by putting punctuation mark in different place in that sentence, will entirely change the meaning of that sentence. What does that mean? Punctuation mark is very important. I have read several papers. In that paper, the punctuation mark is irre irrelevant and uh, cannot be understood. When you read the paragraph, especially in conference papers, or in some journals which they just request publication fee. They don't uh, focus on the quality of publication. When I read the full paragraph, I cannot understand why. Because the punctuation mark is not in the right place. And the sentence, you cannot, you don't know which one, uh, true or which one the which kind of connection can give a, a correct meaning that is why punctuation is very important the wrong punctuation sometimes totally change the meaning as i told you this example a man without woman is nothing some people put punctuation mark in front of woman some of them uh, put punctuation mark with after woman word. In that case, the meaning was completely different. Another common mistake is uh, you should uh, find this common mistake when you usually do before you start writing. Whenever you find this common mistake, you just try to avoid them and clear them one by one. Another thing, if your English is not good enough, you can depend on the, uh, some publishers, they have a editing service for English language. You can depend on them. However, I suggest to you, you totally depend on yourself, try by yourself, communicate with international, professors before going to that service. I recommend you use that service only in emergency case. Don't entirely depend on this kind of professional editing service or from publisher like Elsevier, for example, because depending on yourself will make you a good writer and improve your academic skill. However, if you depend on the professional editing service, you will not have or you will lose motivation to improve your writing skill. So the use that point only in emergency cases. Point that you can away between academic writing you got Perhaps today, British level punctuation mark, gala gringa, bono mana koma question mark, yan alamati sar surman, yan semicolon, hamu ana le shweni raz dabne. Chuka zor zar punctuation mark, agal mark, agal le shweni khoi nabi maana ke batai da gori, ya khud maana her nada. Ham zor zar le paper am batai bati ani conference, ya nau paper ani le journal low impact factor katan had ya nawe publication fewer begrin. Sarpins are paragraphic and twenty two, tenegistim a manaitia. Hadzari banu acrostacanum legda, Hadzari no aminingachida. 
و هنده کسی هنده زور غلط زور ده که لوی ویا باشو پیش اوی دست با رایتنگ بکا لو پیپری بینو ستوا او وقتی که پیدا جد ستوا خطه اک بسر او حالانه ده بینی حالت چی کشه توانا من ریکومیندی ناکم بلا هم لحالت اگه گیری مجنسی بی همود زور نالکان سیکشن چان هیا عادتا پبلیش شرکان که انگلیش کد لبو ایدید ده کن بلا ما وپیم باشه تنها لحالت اگه بیکه زور ناتسار بیدنا اعتمال سر زانیاری خود یا لگل رگیر سیرچگی لگل انترناشنال کولابریشن یا خود لگل او کسانی لپل دی تو لهمان یونیورسیتی ایش ده کن چونکه اگه زور اعتماد لسر او زور سرویس سب که اتو موتیویشن نبی پره با اکادیمیک رایتنگ خود بده تنها لحالت ایمرجنسی و هم پی باشه اعتماد لسر او سرویس سب که Any question, please? Any comment? I am very happy to hear. Had Prasara Gaiswal. Farmo. تفضلي ست باني باش باني باش باني ثانكس فور يور بريزنتيشن اند ثانكس يو يو ار بريزنتيد ان تو لانجويج انجلش اند كورديش كورديش ثانك يو فيري ماتش كان يو جيف مي ا ريال اكزامبل انذر اكزامبل اوف بونكتويشن ذا كوريكت كيس اند ذا رونغ كيس اوكي ثانك يو يو ار ويلكم يو ار يو ار موست موسيقى <تصفيق> 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 Okay, I'm I'm happy to share with you, Mom Sanadza. Thank you very much. Uh, just have a look. Let us have a look in these two sentences. For example, in the first one, never thought it could be this easy. This is question mark. This is for impression. Tell you after writing all these topic, all these tips. Sorry, all these tip in this uh, topic. Never thought it could be that easy. So it means that uh, this is not easy. This is for Im impression. However, here, without question mark, never thought it could be this easy. So it's very simple. Just changing question mark to dot, means a normal sentence. The impression is not that strong. In the first one, when you read it, never thought it could be this easy. So it give you impression. It will be a kind of uh, attraction from reader that following these tips is not very easy. However, in the second sentence, when we just use a dot without question mark, it doesn't give this impression. Maybe this is very simple example, doesn't give you a wrong or correct answer. 
However, just changing one question punctuation mark show you how the impression is different, how the attraction from reader is not as same as strong. From the first sentence and second sentence is not same. Fermo, please. Dr. Shuan, for example, this error, uh, it can be it can be allowed without punctuation or without question mark. Did this will affect on the evaluation of the uh, paper? Yani it, it caused, for example, to reject the paper? Yes, of course. In the third in the third training, after two days, I have another training uh, about it. why uh, most of Elsevier, what is the most obvious reason? that paper rejected is in Elsevier journal. I have this training at uh, Tuesday. One of the reason is about this kind of uh, punctuation mark, about error, about the language error. And one of them is punctuation mark. And I found many comment in some forums. I, inshallah, I will present it in that training I, I, at Tuesday. One of the main reason that the Ilsevier journal reject paper is about critical linguistic error. Especially I talk about high impact factor journal because this kind of error, including punctuation mark, when especially when change the meaning or it make, make it meaningless, in that case, the journal tend to reject that paper. And just for example, I have very good review paper submitted to a journal. I spent too much time on it and I tried to improve my English. However, in some part, and this is my personal experiment that I share with you, everybody, that they told me your English need more than polishing. Your English need more than polishing, need uh, editing and uh, this kind of uh, explanation. In that case, this is one of the reason why they reject my review paper. And uh -huh. by the way, the review paper is a kind of manuscript that you discuss the previous finding from previous researcher, previous work, not my own work. For that reason, yes, I can uh, clearly explain in the training at Tuesday, inshallah, that one of the main reason will affect the manuscript rejection in Elsevier and in other publisher, but I focus on Elsevier because it's the most uh, famous publisher, especially for engineering field, is about uh, mistake, the linguistic mistake, including punctuation. And I will share some example about that. Inshallah. Many thanks, many thanks, Dr. Shwan. We will wait you, inshallah, Tuesday. Inshallah. I'm I'm so very happy. Your, to your effort. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm very happy to share that with you. Any question, please? Harpisarak Tane Farmun. Farmun. Another important tip is about organize your resource. This is very important. Plagiarism is destructive and uh, is a disastrous issue in publication. When your plagiarism uh, is more than a limited uh, portion, that will not be acceptable. This is depend on journal, depend on university, for example, for thesis, for manuscript publication, depend on journal. However, the plagiarism is not about is how much you took information from other people, but where, where you get information from other people. For example, in a research article, if your plagiarism in material and methodology is a kind of acceptable, 
because you use the same device for other researcher, you use, for example, the same apparatus, same methodology, maybe it's not a critical issue. However, using other people word or idea, because plagiarism is not only about using other people word, but also uh, taking other people idea without citing them, without referencing them. This is also unacceptable, for example, in this re the result and discussion section or in introduction, it is not acceptable. Plagiarism actually is a very broad topic, but to make it short, plagiarism is taking other people, other researchers' idea or word. So plagiarism, it doesn't mean only taking word from other people, but idea, even you paraphrase it, but idea without citing them, without mentioning them, without uh, putting them in bracket or reference. This is called plagiarism. And this is unethical and unhealthy practice. If any journal know about that, it is, it is that one is very dangerous. It's not like uh, language mistake. It's not only reject your manuscript, but if they find the plagiarism ratio is too high, maybe they blacklist all authors. For example, how many author? For example, me, Juan, first author. Another person, for example, second author. Another person, third author. Fourth person, fourth author. All these fourth author, their name on the manuscript will be blacklisted from this publisher. And I found that in Elsevier one time, few publishers in India submitted a paper, manuscript research article to a particular journal in Elsevier. The plagiarism rate was about 70%. And the Elsevier, uh, listen carefully, Elsevier, not that, that particular journal, but the publisher Elsevier, published announcement that these uh, researchers, all of them, I don't remember how many of them, but all these researchers are blacklisted to submit any manuscript to any journal in the uh, Elsevier publisher because of plagiarism. That is why if you, find, if you learn paraphrasing and if you learn how to arrange your word, cite other people's word, but paraphrase them. This is all be helpful for improving your writing skill. Because in that case, you spend time. For example, this is one paragraph. They will ask you to write the same paragraph, but in different way. In that case, for example, in the first sentence, it is written, plagiarism is a pervasive threat to an academic successful career. You can write the same sentence, for example, plagiarism is a disaster issue in academic career or in academic life. So both of them give the same meaning with different words. However, the idea is same, but in that case, you put bracket. For example, you put bracket here, you cite the reference. In that case, it doesn't consider it plagiarism because you cite the reference. In that case, when you paraphrase and you cite the reference, that also will be helpful for you to avoid plagiarism and meantime improve your writing skill. Bashevechika, organize your resource. Wata rechstini. سرچاوکانی که معلوماتی لدینی. آواز صن دبی تو هو یار متیدان در رایتینگ سکیل. لو حالت دا، اتو لوی خود لپلیجریزم دور خیه و که پلیجریزم هر آنیا تو شکان صد لصد لیک اچ که بگوازه. بلکه گا ایدیاش بگوازه و آماده بناهی ریفرنس کی نکی دیسان دور لری ایوا با کاری چی نعلمی و با شیوگ لشیوکان دزینی ایدیا خالقی که حسابه. لوی به پلیجریزم حساب نبیده بیه تو پارافریسی بکی. پارافریسیش او موضوعی که دروغ جهرانیه و شکم بگوری. 
بلکو ده بی زور شتی که بگوری بل هم بشیوی چی گشتی ده توانی برین دارش نوی جمله که یا لکو تایی جمله که اما جو بنای ریفرنس سکی ده که لو حالتی و با پلیجریزم ده نندره استفاده اوله چی ده همه تو لپلیجریزم دور ده بی که کار چی اخلاقی نیه لرو علمی و ایدیا و و شی کسانی که بو بی بی اما جو پی بده هم اتو لکاتی پارافریز کردن دبتا تدریب اگلوی رایتنگ سکیلکت با قواتر بی با شیوه چی بهستر نو سینکت بکی واتا لدو لاوی استفاده هیا اینی کوشن اینی کومنت پلیز ایم ویری هپی تو لیسن این انکوائریز هر پرسیارک بفرمون فرمون Doctor, if I if I want to avoid plagiarism, yes, I will be in the safe side if I put only citation or mention to the author. Oh, in that case, this is quotation. Quotation when you completely copy and paste the same sentence, but you just put into between two brackets, you cite the reference. This is called quotation, uh, but this is somehow risky. Do you know why? Because usually the quotation percentage should be very little. In some journal, for example, it is acceptable only 5%. In some journal, for example, only 3%. Quotation means without changing any word, any word. Sorry, let me explain to you here. Yes. To make it easy. For example, the same sentence here that we make here. Yes. Quotation. If we if we use this kind of uh, kind of punctuation mark, let me oh. make it bigger. This kind of punctuation mark usually call it quotation. What does quotation mean? Quotation means that we use word by word from the reference without changing any word. And finally, from here. We put the reference, for example, reference number two. Yes. This is quotation. This is acceptable. However, the percentage of that one should be very low. To make it paraphrasing, we use the same sentence here. You use the same sentence, but how? We change wording and we change it. For example, we can write in a, in other way, for example, it is not a trivial task. Therefore, following these steps are helpful for self confidence. for self-confidence and, for example, meantime, improving your writing. It's not the Or from here, meantime, improving writing skills and uh, avoiding and necessary error in that case in that case this is not quotation this is uh, avoiding plagiarism so it give the same meaning but totally different word totally different word but give the same meaning and meantime we mention we cite the reference when we go to the reference we know what is the second reference this will I explain in the next slide. Uh, so in that case, we can compare between these two. When you read these two, the meaning is almost same. Maybe yes. mine is not very correct because I have done it very quickly, but the meaning is quite similar. And meantime, I cited the reference. In that case, no need to use this kind of uh, mm -hmm. punctuation mark because this is not quotation. Quotation means exactly the same word, 
use the same word, you cite it. This is not plagiarism. However, it should be very limited because journal, they want to know to measure your writing skill. They don't want you just collect piece of writing from other people and connect between them. They want to see your writing style also. They want to see how you present the idea. So in that case, your writing skill is improved because you totally understood the meaning. You paraphrased it and it is presented it in a different way. And meantime, maybe give the same meaning or very close meaning, even not 100 percent, but maybe 80 to 90 percent is almost the same meaning. That is a way for avoiding plagiarism. Doctor, uh, doctor. Yes, please. You see, very nice explanation. Thank you for this example. My but pleasure. I ask about the five percent. You say we have accepted five percent of the one paper, one page, or the whole article. In the whole article, uh, journal depend on journal. We have to when you submit uh -huh. to a journal, you have to read the guideline because each journal, in yes. Elsevier, in Springer, in Nature in Tyler and Francis, in Wiley, in any journal, when you want to submit, they have aim and scope. Behind aim and scope, they have guideline. And this guideline either in PDF or uh, online internet format. In that outlay, outline or guideline, they have explanation. For example, the percentage, it depends on journals. Some journals, they don't have this kind of explanation but some journal they wrote for example the plagiarism ratio should not exceed for example 10 percent for example quotation for example should not should not exceed for example four percent but for the very, whole for the whole document or for one page no no for the whole document but yes, of course okay. but of course uh -huh. we have a, we should be very careful even they don't write but you should be very careful. In some section, even more than that is acceptable. For example, as I told you, in material and methodology, for example, for engineering, because I have experience in engineering, in material and methodology, maybe even 20%, 30% acceptable. Why? Because we use the mm -hmm. same instrumentation, same methodology, same everything. Maybe that is acceptable. In material methodology, we use the same material. But in introduction section, in abstract, in result and discussion, in this kind of section, we should avoid as much as possible quotation or plagiarism. Because in that section, uh, it is your own finding idea. For example, in result and discussion, it is your, it is your finding, it is your data. It is your job how to present it, your task how your skill performance is great and how to present it. In some section, maybe more than 10% is acceptable, but in some other section, especially from abstract, this is very sensitive because in the first section when a track reader is very important to avoid plagiarism and more important to avoid quotation. I either is very necessary and you have no any choice. Thanks a lot, Dr. Joan. My Thank pleasure. You. My pleasure, Monster. Any question, please? I'm happy to hear your questions, your comment. Harper Sara Bufermun, La Chazmada. Dr. Joan, this was your spouse, the king. Fast, the king. This was your Another way to organize your resource is very easy to avoid plagiarism. As I mentioned it now, we use citation for the reference. How we can do that? Through Mendeley and EndNote. There are many platforms, but the most famous. Uh, Dr. Uh, for me, where's that one? Lalai Mamustarinasia, Ger Nazar Gelastar. 
لقيناك واحد يستوعب وقتك ما مضطرين لزام للسرخات ده مكاني كدي تم للسرخات بو بعاني باج دكتور اه بعاني باج ما مضطرين دكتور سد الفين فورما كي دادنيت اه او دادنيت باج عفوا سوري so the another way to uh, arrange citation is through Mendeley or EndNote or even for, through this more. But the most uh, famous one are Mendeley and EndNote. We can organize, collect data. We can download paper and categorize them. All depend on the topic either in Mendeley or EndNote. Actually, this is a special topic. It needs too much explanation. But to make it short, using this kind of platform will, will be helpful to improve academic writing because as I explained it earlier, it will be helpful to avoid plagiarism and meantime to paraphrase your writing. Will uh, be helpful to improve your writing skill. Another way to improve your writing skill is very easy nowadays, especially nowadays, because of quarantine and COVID-19, the online webinars and workshop are very familiar. Attending any workshop, tutorial, training, we webinars, all these kind of sorts are very helpful to improve your uh, writing skill. We can find numerous training online, attending them. Most of them are free of charge. And it will be very useful to get tips from them. Sarcawe Chike Behes Kirdini, writing, academic writing. Bajdari Kirdin Lahamu, a workshop, training, webinar, Kababalashan Zorban. La website a camp, but I bet you the past quarantine cabuita bow. I was Shambasar Sawachi Bash, Labo Behes Kirdini, Academic Writing, Dad and Ritzko Adat and Lodziana, Halkani Hamadzor Lamudzihan, then Discussion is Zordakre, Munakashe Zordakre, Beguman, Istifada Kay Zortre, Lawe Katanhala, Seminar at La Campus, and Hachalchi local Dad and Shiani, but I bet you the LinkedIn. Yan la research gay la handag website the binum ka announcement ilo da kre zor behestra. I have found several webinars through research gate, LinkedIn, or even through Inago. All these kind of webinars are very important because researchers worldwide attend these kind of training workshops and webinars. They discuss topic clearly, and it will be very helpful for researchers to improve their writing skill. Fermun, any question? Another one is about referred templates. This is a very easy. Is about, for example, for beginner. This is actually very important for a beginner. For example, you want to write a research article. You find a research article close to your topic from famous professor, from a very famous researcher. And the topic is quite close to your work. First of all, you just have a Microsoft Word file. You just copy and paste. Like I have done for you earlier, paragraph by paragraph, write your own idea. If your idea match with that uh, particular source, you just paraphrase it. Paraphrase it slowly. When you paraphrase it, try to connect between different paragraph, different sentence. How you can do that? For example, I suggest to you, there is time, you start writing, for example, from introduction. Divide introduction uh, to three different paragraphs. 
bring this paragraph from other famous researcher close to your field. However, divide it, as we explained it earlier, divide it, this three paragraph. Each paragraph divide to subparagraph. And when you bring this subparagraph, try to paraphrase it like I have done earlier. In that case, you done it piece by piece, step by step. And after that, you just connect between different piece, different subparagraph to create one big paragraph for introduction and second paragraph in introduction and so on until you complete three paragraphs. Then you search for any error, any mistake, try to proofread like we explained it earlier. And after that, show it to an expert. We will explain that point later. But can refer templates here as to the paper of Bunu Silababatek. But I bet you was that level beginner rust. I will get as a spelaka at two section section. Bonu in introduction. Aka that see a catchy denny can is sick. I will feel detour. Here comes our dideni. Tamashai the key, the key, it's an paragraph. Her paragraph, the key. The bone minute they can say paragraph. How you can say paragraph, they can say some sub paragraph. What a basically paragraph. A two year comes as sub paragraph. Okay, low paper a bina. Could as a paraphrase some could let this done. But she was a chi oh had a key. But she was a hera. Do I para sub paragraph? Do I we bina? Low paragraph. Okay, okay. Tabana we get payment to be hot of. باو شیوه ورده ورده معلومات خوشی بخسره حتی پاراگرافی یکم تاو دوی که پاراگرافی یکم تاو بو او زدتوانی همان شیوه با پاراگرافی دوام همان پروسیدر با پاراگرافی سیم بکی او زدوانی لخطوی دواتر چه که پروفریدین ده که لغلطا کام پاچی ده که و کرتی ده که و پیچان ده بسته و کونیکشن سنتنس بکرده او زدوانی وان پشانی کسانی دیکی ده دی International and national, or in the university, or in the human field, or internationally, but all of them are going to be able to do it. The tip is going to be able to do it. Fermo, help us, sir. Any question, please? I'm very, very happy to listen. Any comment, any suggestion is very valuable for us. Okay, the final point we can, is very important, get feedback from expert. For example, we should have a very a good heart to accept a constructive criticism because none of us are expert in that field and we have to uh, accept the criticism in a happy manner, learn from them, ask them question. This kind of expert may be your colleague in the same university, maybe international collaboration through LinkedIn, through ResearchGate, or maybe research collaboration, or maybe a kind of online contact. There are many ways, whatever the kind of collaboration, after you have done your work, you spend too much time in proofreading. You spend too much time in paraphrasing, avoiding plagiarism. You correct it several times. After all of that, you can send the copy to an expert in your field. Maybe that expert will be co-author in your paper, or maybe just helpful, depending on their time. In that case, their comment and suggestion will be very helpful for you to improve your writing. Because even just give some comment about the sentence that you have mistake about the way of writing style will be very helpful for you to find a way online or from other expert or from your own basic understanding and knowledge, you improve your writing. خاله چطوری زور گرینگ هست؟ پس اوهی که تو 
همو کاتی خود سرف کرد لبو پروفری دین باش کردنی انگلین زکات پارا فریز کردن نوسی نو دوباره پارچا پارچا کنوسی تو او پارچانت همو لیگ دا هشتا هز دا که غلط پیدا لبو کسا چی اکسپیرتی دنیری او کسا اکسپیرت دا که حاولا کد بیلا یونیورسی و دشکره پروفیسور اگه بیل زنکوی چی بنابان جی جیهانی لرگه لنکدین لیان لرگه ریسرچگه لیان لرگه اکادیمیا یان لهر رگه چی تر لکنفرانس ناسی تر مع برادرهای تو تام بقود با معلومات دا گورنوا بلان پاش شوی هموش تی تاو دا که نکه لبیدای تو هشتا زورت ایشمایا که هموش تی تاو کر فاینل کوپی لوی دنیری با پی مجالی خوی تماشای دا که بزانا چندی لانیا حالا شد لو راست کات و اگه کاتی ها بی با تایبته اگه کو اثر بی یعنی ببته یک لا اثر کانی پی پرکت یعنی وکو ریزک اگر اوها بی تم عزیاتری عرمتی ده ده اگر نا اثر نبی کو اثر نبی ده توانی هر هیچ نبی پیشنیاری او شوناند لو بکه که پیوستی بچا کرنه و یه ها اتو لو حالتی ترکیز لسر او شوناند ده که که پیوستی بچا کرنه و یه جا چلا رگ انترنیت بی بگره یعن پرسا بیانیش اگه زو زور ناچار بوی لبو ایدیتنگ سرویسی زور نالا کن بی دو شویه ها کومنت لا اکسپیر واتا کسانی پسپور لبوارا زو زور گرنگا انی کوشن پلیس هر پرسیارک فرمون توانم خوام او ایشم کردی از زو زا بطای بطی لر سیرچ گید و زور استفاده شم لکر دیا. زور پیپر هی استادی کم لگر کسانی داره و باور رگایا. زور زور مثلاً که پیوست کرد بتو کورتر ل پیپر کی. هم رایتینگ سکیل کی من باج دبی، هم اویش باج داری دکل زان لزانیاری. زود زارم نیش جرم تی ویش دادم. اگه برین ل همان است خوبی. باز تو آنگاه پروفسور چیناو دار بیل بوار کی. ام زور استفادم لو رگای کردیا که زود لار با خیالم دانه داد باشی و استفاده ای هایی. بله امتا اکید و کاتی دویا تالا ریسرچ گید یعنی لنکد این خلکانک دبی نیولا واری اکید کاتی دویا تا چند زار ایمیل ناردن یعنی کنفرانس باشترین رگای اگه کنفرانس هایی بجداری بکی لوی خلچ بناسی لو بواره تا هم باشترین ها بله امستا پیناسی او بواره زور فراهم بی. Any question? Any tip, please? It is not that easy. Don't think that these tips be easy. However, it's possible. It's true. It's not a trivial task. However, it's quite possible. You can spend time step by step. You improve your academic writing in this way. We could go to our regard as Sania Balam, but the Parbunicat, Urda Urda, the Twani academic writing a key hot, Baro Bashibubay. Here was some important point is about expression of limitation. If you have problem in your research, it's quite normal to express your limitation. For example, what kind of problem you have in your research? Because your research is not necessary to be perfect. It's quite normal. You have some limitation and uh, express it in your research. It's quite normal. هندگ نقطه ضعف هایی، زور عصایی لکاتی ریسرچ کرده تو، آن نقطه ضعفانه در ببری. شتی زور زور عصایی. Any question? Any remark? I am very happy to hear from you. هر پرسارکتان هی بفرمو. فرمو. Welcome, please. 
Any question, please? Okay, one, before we finalize that one, we just give an example how academic writing is important. For example, in writing abstract, why we choose abstract? Because abstract is the first section. When we look at any paper, especially if that one is not a, is not a open access journal, if the first thing we have a look at it is abstract. Abstract, some of them is result driven, so finding. Another one, a research paper summary. It's very important in very few words, only for example, some journal have 100 words. You accumulate all of that background, aim, a problem statement, method, result, conclusion, all in abstract. For example, one sentence for background, one sentence for problem statement, one sentence for method, one sentence for result, one result, sentence for conclusion. And this is not easy task. This is just an example how you will be a very good academic writer. But example man that an abstract but then you to pick a cheese training a cheat I bet you do it. So Zahmatrisha low halate at its takey master and abstract la sad word and has sad usha the behamu awana background problem statement method result conclusion it is a bit could a key harry kalana ten haber stack day key where sonish pitch and the best you are our inshallah girl cat happy but training a chitai but away buzz the cam but out and honey munakalabo bash buni academic writing our reference say kalim wargirtia inago inago is the main reference for our training and I am very thankful for providing me access to have a look at their resource without charge. But Shevichi Sarachi, O Baba Tamli Nago, or Gritia Bakamak Daskario, Baspas, or Kawabe, or Access, you are Telabu Access Diamond, the Bipari, the Lona Website, Bala Moku Yarmati, Yarmatian Dam, Baspas. Any question? At the end of this training, any question, any remark, I will be very happy to hear from you. Any question, any remark? Any question, any remark? I'm very happy to hear from you. My pleasure, many, my pleasure. Many thanks, Dr. Ram, for sharing this experience with us. Thank you. My pleasure, Mamusta, my pleasure. I'm very happy to be, to contribute a minor knowledge with you, to share this kind of experience tip with you. I'm very happy for that.
Any question? Sure, sure. I will share the link again, inshallah. I will share a link. My pleasure, my pleasure. Shall I will share the link again. And I recorded this one, this training. After that, I will share that with you, inshallah. And I will back with you after three o'clock, inshallah. If anybody has question, has any comment, I will be happy to hear from you. Doctor, I Remark any comment? Her pressure, her serenity, be near. Zor bakhosh haliyo jam gertiya. Khosh halam barizan. Doctor, Doctor Juan. Parmo, America, Doctor Juan. Well, I'm the Riyasi da khilbum. But in respect, awi saasi, hamam babati adakay, ya mozuash kay adakay. Na haro mozuay, awi sabo dus bay du babati jawazan, Doctor. Awi Europe, awi kasani kana hati na. I'm in Lerana. A way I'm become you are a Pirana Gaistia. They do bad. Oh, that's for me. Pass the conductor Jambi. Doctor Yan the second coach. Pass the conductor Jan. Pass the Pass the Mutan. Pass the Mutan. My pleasure. Inshallah, I will be here at 3 p.m. Inshallah. Inshallah. Any question? Those past and the comes past to Jagger to Nukat and the come. See you again at three o'clock. Those past, Mom, those past. Have a nice day. What and the